All right. All right. Hello and welcome. Hey, everybody. Hello. Hello. How's it Carnivore going? Coffee Chat, Jeff D, Adam Lacey, JT Poco Moonshine Family. How's it going? How's it's it going, going guys? I got my coffee. It's nice. going great. I don't have my coffee yet, Carrie, but my son Dante's making it downstairs right now. Nice. So I'll, I'll have it soon. Adam, you got any coffee over there? I don't. I actually have my favorite water, Fiji oh, water. I got the second favorite water sitting here. <laughs> my, mine's just water, so it's in all full disclosure. How's awesome. it going, Jeff? How's it going, Adam? How's it going, JT? It's going good. Great, it's man. Going, it's going great. By the way, my coffee will be decaf, guys. I Later in the day, I switched to decaf. And because I'm eating right now, I do put heavy cream in it. Uh, 35% fat, right? Uh, the heavy cream I buy, it's only got two ingredients, cream and skim milk. So there's no carrageenan. There's no, it, cause you got to take a look at some of those heavy creams, right? I know a lot of you guys don't even use it, right? Heavy cream. Nope. Yeah, that's good. But a lot of carnivores do, they, you know, they make keto desserts and this and that put it in their coffee. So Jeff, do you even need caffeine, man? You seem like you're always going like energizer. Well, you know what? <laughs> I was going actually um and actually i want to ask you guys you guys eat dinner yet i did not i did i'm not that hungry though i i haven't been hungry really uh since breakfast so i have those days too sometimes jt um but uh carrie you got you ate i did i had uh one of my favorite meals which i feel kind of bad because we had some carnivore friends over including these two guys i wish you were here jeff uh we had steaks on saturday uh brett who's your carnivore made them on the grill we were going to smoke them and then do the whole thing but it wasn't a lot of time now i feel bad because after everyone left i did that today i smoked some ribeyes up and then i seared them and man <laughs> oh man they were so good i had one for lunch a couple hours ago and then about two hours ago i'm like you know what i'm feeling a little hungry i got another one in the fridge warmed it up in the air fryer it was very very good that's awesome. You know what? Warming it up in the air fryer after it always makes it makes it better, right? Yeah. And here's a little power tip. I, I purposely cook them rarer than I'd want. Yeah. Then when I put it in the air fryer, it comes out just perfect. Otherwise, you might end up doing it too much. But what about you, Jeff? Any dinner tonight? Yeah. You know what? I had a, I had a busy day. Uh, I had hyperbaric oxygen treatment in the morning. Uh, so I, I went there and Dante came with me. And we did had we had some running around to do all day. And my wife is working late tonight, so she's actually not home. So when I got home, you know, we we fed Mario the puppy, and then me and the boys. I wasn't ready to cook, so there's this roadhouse actually. Oh, Dante's delivering my coffee right now. Hold on a sec. Here, come say hi, Dante. Come come on the camera. Get in there. Hey, <laughs> how's it going? On, good, good, good. Oh, Mario's here too. Come here. Come here, hold my coffee, Dante. I gotta show Carnivore Mario. <laughs> it's a me, oh, Mario. Mario. Mario, Mario is here. Okay, and Mario is a carnivore. He's gonna be on future episodes. Okay, let's go. Awesome. Love the dogs. Dante, Love it. Pass, pass my coffee. Uh, okay, cheers, guys. Now we can do official cheers. All right. In Italian, we say salute. All right. Salute. Salute. Oh, that's good. Thank you, Dante. Decaf, heavy cream. Oh, Mario's jumping all over me. Get him out of here, Dante. <laughs> okay. So anyways, I was talking about, you know, I got home and I wasn't ready to cook. I have a ton of ribeyes in the freezer, but I didn't take it out. So anyways, we went over to this roadhouse. It's called Chuck's. You guys have Chuck's Roadhouse in the, in the U.S.? No. So anyways, we, I, I just know that they have a $25 special all the time that you get a, a, a top sirloin steak, and it's a pretty good size. I'm thinking – it's not huge, but it's probably about eight ounces, top sirloin steak, and you get a lobster, a lobster tail, a lobster tail for 25 bucks. You get a side, but me and the boys, we say no to the side. Okay. Um, anyways, so we, we got that. We went there, ate that, and it was delicious. Okay. We got our top sirloins, medium rare, lobster tail, dipping it in butter. It was awesome. But then we were still hungry, like because we didn't really eat much during the day. So so we we left Chuck's Roadhouse, went through the drive through at Wendy's, ordered 12, 12 patties, the 12 four-ounce patties. Did you apologize and, first? Well, I, actually, I didn't apologize. <laughs> you were too hungry? I was such in a rush to get back here. So we got here. We got – honestly, it's like it's, it's after 8 p.m. right now in Ontario Eastern, right? And same with Adam. So 
I got here at 7.40, and I go, boys, let's go. And I, and I actually fed Mario some pieces of the burger. And Dante <laughs> and me and Peter, we ate, we ate two, two, three patties. And I had some goat cheese from, from Costco, and I was crumbling it on top of it. So I'm feeling really good. Uh, I, I think I ate a pretty good carnivore dinner. Sirloin, lobster, uh, Wendy's patties mm. with some goat cheese on it. So I'm pretty happy. Feeling good. It sounds Next time, tell them you want a side of some shrimp or like, uh, you know, tell them to bring out some more butter or something. You know what? Uh, yeah, I got to try to negotiate. I got to figure it out. You're totally right, JT. Because you know what they normally do? They'll bring you like a salad and then they bring you like a thing of corn. And I'm like, enough with this starvation food. You know what I mean? I, I, don't, I don't get it. Why do we have to add those things in? They'll charge you anyways if you don't ask for it. So you might as well try to negotiate. Say, can can I get some shrimp as a side? Right. I, I agree. I agree, JT. Absolutely. What about you, Adam? Do you have dinner tonight yet? I have not had dinner. I literally just slid into the to the room from the car from work working all day. So yeah, I was texting you earlier. You were in the middle of a photo shoot, eh? Yep. Yep. All day long. Uh, let's see. We did track, lacrosse, and baseball today. Nice. That's awesome. Yep. Great. Yep, I was yep. I was actually texting Adam and Carrie because I think you guys would be proud of me. I bit the bullet and I ordered a gimbal on Amazon. Okay. Nice. So I got I got the gimbal and uh, you know, Peter was helping me the other day hook it up and everything. And today I said it was a beautiful day in Ontario, 17, 18 degrees. I said, I'm going to go down to the river and I'm going to do a walk and talk because I've never done a walk and talk. I love Carrie's walk and talks. Adam, have you done a walk and talk? I just did one. Yep. Yeah. And, and Russ, Russ always does them. JT, have you done one before? I did one the other day on uh, the, YouTube does the lives in the shorts now. So I, I went I went live in the shorts and uh, it was pretty fun. I oh, walked my do dog it. with me, too. So I, I had the you dog a, in there. You can do a live short. Yep. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. So anyways, I got the gimbal and Carrie, I was struggling and Adam, I was struggling because I, I don't know, I would hit record and then within 10 seconds, the camera's facing me and following me, no problem. But then it would beep like 10 times and they would flip upwards. <laughs> and then it, it kept doing that. Like I, I would, I would press like the button to have it flip back to me. And then every 10 seconds. So I got so annoyed with it. Um, I, hit the lock modes on like the rotation thing so mm -hmm. and then I, I basically just yeah, used it like a selfie stick like a glorified <laughs> selfie stick so i have to learn i don't know if it's the brand i bought maybe i i got a cheap one or whatever but uh we're gonna is it low on battery jeff oh, like we fully charged it do you have one jt no no i was, I was thinking about getting one that i could use with my iphone what was brand it, is it was it exactly. for your phone uh it's for my phone um, what brand was it? I don't know what, what it is. I'll look it up later and, say, and, and tell you guys, but I've had yeah, that happen before. If it, well, depending on, usually for the phone ones are fine, but on my camera, if it's heavier, if it's not balanced, right, it'll, it'll error out and it'll just kind of drop it. But it, I, it, it kept giving me this message. It was called uh gimbal overload. It said gimbal overload after it yeah. flipped up. Yeah. It wasn't uh, balanced. It sounds like it, it sounds like it's not balancing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I gotta I gotta tweak it and re like figure it out. Yeah. yeah. There's usually okay. little adjustments on the side where you can play with it when it's off, and you you want to kind of have it right where you want it. Um, yeah. If you adjust it around, so it's kind of balanced depending on the weight. Speaking yeah. of gimbals, Adam. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Look familiar. It does. Oh, I left mine, didn't I? Yes. This is Adam's <laughs> <Dang> gimbal. <laughs> this was Adam's gimbal. No, it's <laughs> I needed another one. I'm gonna have to send this back to you. I have the case. I just must uh, obviously left the gimbal there. It Oops, was sitting so. on the. It was you were distracted by steak. It was sitting on the kitchen counter. Yeah, Brett so, with the delicious steak, steak, man. Yep. So that that gimbal, it's not for a phone. That one, that gray one. That it one is. is. Yeah. Oh, it is. But is there there ones for bigger devices like recording device? Okay, gotcha. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I got like a I big, huge one for the Netflix camera. It's it's heavy. It'll hurt wow. your hurt your shoulder like i remember when you guys were over my house in my backyard back in the fall and you were taping peter knock the soccer ball around i think you had the gimbal on the ground right yep that's right yeah yeah and it was following him that was awesome so i'm gonna yeah. i'm gonna experiment with it over the next couple of weeks and figure out how to use it and i think i'm gonna have some fun with it yeah 
Yeah, usually the phone ones are pretty easy to adjust. It probably won't be that hard to okay. dial it in. Sounds good. The one I have for my phone is a DJI. DJI. And I love it. It's so smooth. You can hit it like this and you push the trigger twice and it'll go from um, horizontal to vertical. Cool. And I really didn't have to balance it too much. And mine, I think, is similar to Adam's. It has a magnet where the phone clips on. So you could just unclip it. I don't, have, it I don't have one anymore. Yeah, it's similar to the one Adam used to have before uh, yes, he gave it, it to me. the DJI. Is it too? Well, yeah. I, yes. I hope uh, – I know Dante and Peter, uh, they're in their rooms, I think, watching this live. So hopefully they picked up on some of your tips there and Peter can experiment with it later. Yeah. But Speaking anyways, of Peter – I have some, well, I, sh I think I showed him some of it when I was there, but I got some great footage of Peter kicking the soccer ball around when we were up filming oh, you. Oh, that's awesome. Next you time we come up there, we got to do a little sizzle reel or something of him. Uh, what is it called when he keeps kicking the ball up and down? I'm such a rookie. I don't know. Keep, up, keep ups. Keep, keep ups. Up. Keep ups. Yeah. <laughs> Never ending keep ups. Hey, do, they have a, do they have a contest like uh, Peter and Dante yeah, so you can go longer? Well, you know what? Peter can go longer. And actually, Peter did enter a contest uh, like during the pandemic when everything was online. And that was like two, three years ago. And he did a thousand and eighty seven keep ups. Oh he, like, wow. he, like, yeah, he, like, it was I recorded for ten, it was 10 minutes of me recording him do this. Right. Wow. So, he could, yeah, he's doing pretty good. Um, JT, have you played any sports growing up? Yeah, I uh, I. Well, I wouldn't call karate a sport, but I did. I got my black belt, then I moved on to basketball. Yeah, I, and, could, see uh, be, I could see you being a baller. For sure. Oh, man, I had a shot, man. But uh, unfortunately, people told me they're like, man, you're not you're not tall enough. Like you're going to you're going to get packed every time. So I was like, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe it's not for me. And um, I shouldn't have listened because now everybody's like Steph Curry size. Absolutely. I know. So that just, if you guys take anything from me on this stream, don't listen to the haters, do what you follow your, follow your heart, you know, do what you love to do. Even if you think you're not the proper size for it. Well, there's, there's an easy solution too to get, gain a couple inches. Hey eh, guys, you guys know the solution? Carnivores? Car hundred percent. That's right. Check, <laughs> check mark for care. Become a carnivore because you know what? I feel like, like Peter's six foot one. He's almost pushing six foot two. He's 15. And, and he thinks he's done. And I go, Peter, you're not done growing. You're going to have another growth spurt when you're yeah. seven, 16, 17, and you're carnivore. And there's actually, I was talking to Dr. Shafee about, about like athletes and carnivore and this and that. And I remember at the end of my last call with him, um, I talked about this uh, professional soccer player, Holland, Earl Holland. He's a uh, Norwegian, but he plays for Manchester City. And he's in his early 20s, like he's like 23. And he's the best like striker in the world. He's one of the best strikers in the world. And he just grew like an inch and a half or two inches in his 20s. Mm. And he's and he's carnivore. Like if wow. you watch if you watch videos about him, he's one of those people that don't really hint like he, he hints towards it. Like he, he shows his meals. He talks about how he likes to eat meat a lot. I would say he's probably 85, 90 percent carnivore. Um, and he just does, you know, I love watching stuff like that from athletes, especially for our kids to have role models like that. Right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Hey, sure. what else is going on? We got, we got to create like a theme. Like I know, like, like I care, uh, Adam, you got like a carb count. You used to have that right with Russ, a heart attack check. We got to, we got to get creative because <laughs> this is episode two and I'm, and I'm planning, and I hope you guys are planning. We got to keep the episodes going. Absolutely. I'm in. Right? Good. And we gotta get a, we gotta get one of these funky like uh intros made up where we're I, I like the thumbnail. I think I think Carrie made that thumbnail. It's pretty good. Yeah, I did along with the help of uh AI. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, you got <laughs> like some faces in uh, you got me in a nice tight t shirt, so right? pretty good. Flex it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and hey, on our, our very first episode, we had Dr. Ken Berry leave a comment. So absolutely, what more could you ask for? That's amazing, amazing. So Jeff, you you you're on an eating week, right? Starting I'm on, I'm Friday. On an eating week, yeah. So yeah, that's right. I had chemo last week, and Friday the bottle came off, and then I started eating, and I'm actually feeling really good. Um, normally, like Saturdays, Sunday, I have a bit of down days, but no, I felt good right from the start. Um, we're on spring break here in Canada uh, for the kids. So the boys are off this week. So it's great so that I'm eating this week. And uh, 
we might be doing something a little later in the week. I, I don't really want to share it, but, but we might have a family excursion coming up soon. And I'll, sh I'll share it with the uh, subscribers in the audience later, maybe next week. We'll get nice. into it more, but we're, we're planning on doing some fun things as a family. Um, you know what? Just hanging out with my boys, like honestly, the last hour and doing that steak and lobster. And then I go, boys, I'm kind of hungry. And they both said, yeah, why are we still hungry too? Just going over to Wendy's and grabbing patties. Like those are those little moments that like, I think we all cherish the most, like with our families, right? A hundred percent. We said this last week, Jeff, you're inspiring us and you really are. Even this last week, man, I took uh what was that yesterday? I think I was with Katie and we got some patties at McDonald's and it was like flashback to with Jeff, but it's is Katie, crazy. Is Katie, the tri one, is Katie one of the triplets? Yes. And she's okay. one that uh, has been resistant. Outdoor Katie pushed, now. Outdoor Katie now. Yeah. I haven't pushed yeah. any of the girls, despite what people keep saying on my channel. And Katie yes. was counting calories for like a year and she was doing really well. So I just left it alone. And she decided on her own, like maybe three or four weeks ago, no, uh, 30 days ago, she decided on her own to do keto. She wanted, she tried carnivore like a month or two before that and had issues, but she's doing keto now and she's doing great. And yeah, so we were out and about yesterday and we stopped at McDonald's and I did, sorry, eh? I would like to get some burger patties. <laughs> I, I'll tell you what, like I get burger patties. We got Culver's here. That's like JT knows what I'm talking about. Culver's is the best, but JT, I challenge you once. Go to McDonald's. I never would have thought McDonald's quarter pound patties. They're really good. Like Katie was like, wow, this is really good. So yeah, we crushed a couple patties and we were joking about Jeff uh, yesterday, but I'm coming up on one year. Next week is one year carnivore, Jeff. And That's it's awesome. really crazy how everything's kind of coming together in this last week or two. It's like the whole family is hardcore keto. Four of us are carnivore. Jen's still struggling. She's doing keto carnivore, but she's doing really good. And, um, Alyssa, my daughter Alyssa is almost carnivore pretty much. She's doing keto, but we're all, it's so nice because we're all eating the same food and we're eating dinner together. That was the hard Amazing. part before. Before yes. Katie was like eating her own thing. And then Emma's like, oh, I'm intermittent fasting right now. It's like, it's impossible to have a family meal together. We're, we're eating family meals together every night now, which is pretty awesome. That's awesome. You got to plug uh, Katie's channel quick, buddy. Yeah, Katie yeah. started her own channel out of the blue. She didn't even tell me, JT. She didn't even tell me. I was watching YouTube and I'm like, is that my daughter? So Katie started a channel, Outdoor Katie, which I'm really happy about too, because uh, last year, Katie and I had some fun adventures with some of the e-bikes and kayaking. She loves doing outdoor stuff. And now we got all the archery stuff that the girls have been doing regularly. Uh, so yeah, Outdoor Katie is your new channel. And she just did an update, her 30-day keto update. And she's going to be doing some outdoor archery stuff, I guess, coming up soon. That's awesome. Yeah, I watched, I'm, I'm, I watched I'm a couple of her, her videos, man, and they're really good. She's doing a good yeah. job. Yeah, she just sat down and riffed, and I'm like, all right, I guess you don't need my help with anything, and you're just going to post it. I'm like, all right, cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Natural. Yeah, I'm, They're natural-born YouTubers. Right. Subscribe later on tonight to Katie's for sure. Yeah. Uh, cool. But I, 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 I was watching Emma. Like, she promised to make a video because she, she fell off the boat a little bit with YouTube. But yep. she, made a, she made a great video. Uh, talking about it and talking about how she transitioned transitioned all the way to do it. Talking yeah. about her acne, like that was really she's getting really good at it too, Carrie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. She'll appreciate that. And the thing that I'm so excited about is we had the big meetup at Montello Theater this weekend, and I'm yes. so excited for the girls because that really fired them up. Like afterwards, they're like, "Yeah, we got to stick to this carnivore thing now." Like, listen to what Dr. Hampton was saying on the screen, and uh, just being around. Like all of that was great, the whole meetup. But for me, the, the craziest part that was so interesting was just hanging out with other carnivores. At one point, yes. looking up, it's yes. like over a hundred carnivores here with us. It was so inspiring and just awesome. They're all awesome. So I kept here's waiting for Jeff to show up. Yeah. You right. Know what? I was ready to drive down. If I didn't have chemo leading up to that, I think I was going to. And I'm going to I'm gonna surprise you guys coming this spring, <laughs> summer, one of these times, okay? Um, hey. To expand on what you said, Carrie, having a group of people that are carnivore and a network, even, even if it's not just carnivore, even if it's just about long living long life, longevity group, it's so helpful. And I started this thing. I don't know if you guys were seeing my community posts, but like I've been meeting at Starbucks in Paris, very close to where Carrie and I did that uh, cold plunge when he was here. Anyways, I met these two women. It turned into a third woman. Then on this past Monday, this one of my subscribers, he's 
I think early forties. He, I showed up late. Those two women that are carnivores that I've been meeting with, they're in the middle of discussion with this new guy that joined our group. And he brought his daughter, his eight year old daughter and his eight year old daughter. I walked into the Starbucks and her eyes lit up and she stood up and she shook my hand. She said her name was Mia and uh, Mia, if you're watching and Kyler, the father, if you're watching tonight, hello. Um, honestly, guys, Carrie, Adam, JT, this Mia girl for an eight year old, she was, she's a ketovore. So her, her dad is very strict carnivore and I'll talk about him in a second, but she says she's ketovore and she's talking about how she, you know, she makes bacon and eggs and she's eight years old and how she brings healthy lunches. Her dad helps her pack her lunches. She was going on and on and on. And she was, she was so well-spoken at the end of the, at the end of my time with her, I said, I need to get you on YouTube. I said to her and, and she go in her eyes. And, and, and I go, if your dad's okay, would you do a call with me? And she goes, yeah. And her dad was okay with it. And then I said, you know what's even better? I'll, maybe we'll do a call with Dr. Anthony Shafee. Dr. Anthony Shafee, because we're doing these like kids kind of thing. JT, maybe you can join in and hold your little baby up. You know what I mean? And and get Absolutely. This, Mia, this Mia girl is so smart, guys. She could lead the she could lead the 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 interview with Dr. Shafee, me, JT, like all of us. You know what I mean? And i maybe show throw Dante on there too, because I want to really get because we're the main focus, guys, is we're healing humanity, but we got to get our kids eating properly, right? Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. We were talking about that a little bit before. I'm so worried about my girls, their generation, because I'm like, I ate so crappy and I suffered so bad. And I'm like, they're eating way worse even than I was nowadays. These kids are. Everything's yeah. got sugar in it. Everything's got seed oils. It's funny, your story, Jeff, because here, I'm going to just share this real quick. I just show you guys this picture real quick. We had a young man with his family come into the meetup, and it was incredible. Here, let me just show you real quick. Uh, maybe this one here. There we go. Actually, there's a couple pictures here. Yeah, these all Adam's. Oh, uh, did it work? Is this, Adam, is this Adam's work? A lot yeah. of it is Adam. Some of it's JT. Uh, let's see here. Try this one more time. Boom. There we go. Maybe. Hey, by the way, you had a nice haircut. Hey, the new oh, iPhone yeah. takes really nice photos. Right? <laughs> yeah, so this, Jeff, this family was like, we came up from Texas. And I'm like, what? Oh, Go home. Texas. Why are you coming all the way from Texas? We don't Amazing. deserve to have you coming from Texas. And this young man was, I, I believe he said he was car either ketovore or carnivore or really close. And he watches the channel. Uh, it was just incredible. Amazing. I'm like, if you have any questions, I'm going to call on you first. And unfortunately, afterwards, I was going to invite them over, uh, Adam JT. I was going to be like, come on over to the house. Afterwards, you came all the way from Texas. But uh, so many people were coming up to talk to us afterwards. By the time the, the smoke cleared, they had, they had left, unfortunately. But coolest little kid. He walked That's by amazing. when I was giving the presentation. I gave him a little fist bump. So that was kind of cool. And may hey, maybe it, 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 he's well-spoken, you said, Kerry? Yes, Maybe he could join us if we do a little kids carnivore episode going. Yeah. Hey, if you're watching, I got to find out their info from there. This is a picture Adam took, by the way. Awesome. That is awesome. Um, Adam, were you standing up on the thing for that one? Nope. That's where the fisheye lens. I just lifted the camera up. Ah, okay. Yeah, there's the one Tricks at the end. The that trade, was crazy. Gary. Right. We did the, Jeff, at the end, we did the steak hands. And the Dr. Berry finger, which is pretty awesome. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, that was my breakfast the next day. Oh, this guy, oh, Jose. This one was hilarious. I thought he was going to take off his pants at first, but he was just right? showing us his belt. I was like, where's this going? Yeah. He said, Carrie, I have something to show you and reach down. To <laughs> <laughs> Huge weight loss. This guy had a stroke. His name is Jose. He's really I, cool. I, I got I to point something out. I don't think Carrie's flexing, but he looks pretty ripped there in his arms, eh? <laughs> eh? That's, that's all carnivore. Absolutely. Yeah. Carrie's nervously looking down in that photo to see what yeah, he's Yeah, I'm like, what, what's at? about to pop out here? What are you doing? <laughs> that guy was awesome, though. That guy was fired up. He called me a week earlier. He was in town. And he's like, I'm across the – a week earlier, we had – this has been a crazy two weeks. We had – three news stations at the theater because we started doing veterans are free forever and the news covered it, which was really awesome. And Jose, that guy, he called me the day they were coming. He's like, can I stop by the theater? I'm like, well, the guy's here with the camera. So he's like, I'll just wait till next week then. So. Wow. Yeah. So many awesome. cool stories though. That was awesome. I, I can't believe that young family came from Texas. I'm like, that's, that's too much. You should have done that. 
Amazing. Yeah. I got a picture to share, Kerry. Yeah. So, be, you know, I was Make uh, me nervous. Make I, me was, nervous. <laughs> I was preoccupied with uh, talking to people more than I thought I would be. So I didn't get to take as many pictures as I did as I wanted to. So the real OG when it comes to pictures was JT. Yes. Yeah, this, this man was double fisting cameras, days, buddy. Right. And it was like a conveyor belt. <laughs> just awesome. just following Seriously. the camera, the cameras in through his hands, man. He was doing an awesome job. Yeah. Thank hey, you, Look JT. at my face, man. That shows you how much fun I had. It was a blast, man. And um, a lot of people were telling me, man, they hope we make it an annual thing, at least for Montello, you know, and. Oh, 100%. A great thing. I'm addicted. I want to do more and more. And again, thank you, JT, because that was something we learned a lot. This was a learning experience. That's why we did it for free. We need like a dedicated picture guy besides Adam, because Adam was taking other amazing pictures and running around and talking to people, too. But well, we, we both had it on lock between him and me, man. We we, we got so many photos. So it was you, on lock, man. You got me some I'm great a footage. quarterback to Adam. Right. Well, JT was sitting in the front row also, and you got some good clips. Uh, I got an upcoming video coming with some highlights from the whole Dr. Hampton thing, and I stole some of the clips you sent me. I got so more that I that. couldn't uh, get onto your, your phone in time before we had to yeah. leave. So, Long story short, Jeff, Adam, we got to do more of these. Like, I'm ready to go. Even if it's just a barbecue out in a yes. park somewhere, I am in 100%. I had there were two ladies that came, Adam. I don't know if you guys saw these. Um, I'm gonna forget her name now. She's really good friends with Kelly Hogan. I'll Susan. send you guys after Susan. Yeah, yeah. She she did a video. Uh, Carnivore Twins is her channel. She did a video how to do a meetup, and she sent it to me afterwards. I watched it this morning. It was really really good. She does tons of meetups, and a lot of times they'll just go to a park. It's just a get together. Like this one we did with Dr. Hampton was. Pretty elaborate having him on the screen and streaming it and stuff. But I'm totally game to do many more of these, even if it's just to hang out with people. Hey, Carrie, at, at your event, did you have these available for that for people if they wanted them? Yes, uh, I we had a good number of them. We actually had one left, uh, but I ordered the one that you're wearing, Jeff. <clears throat> I ordered a bunch of those for family and doctors and stuff that we sent out. And then we yes. had a bunch left. So I think we had maybe 20. We could have had way more. That was another learning experience. And we could have had Adam's blue ones with the horizontal one. Yeah, We could have nice. had some, the compassionate carnivore ones probably would have ended up selling some of those. We had at the concession stand, no candy, no popcorn, three different types of water. We had the fizzy water. We had this water and we had pork rinds, beef sticks, and cheese sticks. It was That's pretty awesome. awesome. We sold out of the and pork Brent rinds real quick. Brett from Hoosier Carnivore was tossing out beef sticks too, man. Like he, he got the crowd hype, man. So shout out to Brett. <laughs> yeah, huge, huge shout out. Big learning experience. But he's like, hey, you need like a hype man to get this thing going? I'm like, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. So he was going around, Jeff, and, and uh, Brett was like, who, who, who traveled the furthest? And then he'd throw him a stick. That's Who's awesome. been carnivore the longest? He was firing up the crowd before we got started. So it was pretty cool. That, actually, that's like my dream to do now, now that I'm carnivore. Because there's the sticks, the beef stick man. I'm, I'm <laughs> they were good. You guys, tell you guys something that I was, I'm kind of ashamed of. And I don't care who's listening to this. It's live. As a teacher, and school teachers do this. School. If you go into classrooms, school teachers, you know, in you know, in their desk drawer on top, they got you know, they got candy, candy, right? And I was guilty of doing that, even as a phys ed teacher when we go into health class. To get some, to get kids answering questions, you know, I get, I get, I pull out a Jolly Rancher. Okay, who can answer this question? And you chuck it across the room for them, right? And it's horrible, horrible that I was doing that, and I feel really guilty. But so now my dream is to have a bunch of people, just like you said, in front of us, classroom, and yeah, I'm throwing out those beef sticks, I'm throwing out whatever those good cheese sticks, whatever it is, right? So I, you know, that's awesome that that guy was doing that. Wonderful. Yeah. Who's your carnivore, Brett? He's in the chat. If anyone check out his channel, who's your carnivore? He's awesome. Nice. He came to the Chicago meetup and then he cooked for us. I, I bought the oh. steaks and he cooked them, which I so appreciated because I was in a little bit of a brain fuzz at the time and we got everyone coming over to the house. And then we had to rush back to the theater afterwards, Jeff, with JT and his big idea. How did that go, JT? Oh man, it was Kung Fu pandemonium. <laughs> and we, we not only sold out the entire theater, but we had to turn at least another 30 people away. I was jumping around in the panda suit. Uh, I got to get the photos from Adam, but it was fun. We had a blast. And Brett, my dude, he dressed up in his uh, black belt um, 
uniform and he had a samurai sword and we were just fake fake fighting out there in the front of the theater and stuff and kids were having a ball kids were having a blast i wouldn't undo it for nothing it was a blast that's amazing amazing yeah we gotta do we gotta do more like i said i'm open to do more and i know adam and i were just talking about a little bit but it would be cool if we did one imagine if jeff was there and jeff could give his testimony and then adam gives his testimony and it's something more like that without something like that could be kind of cool too well, you know, Absolutely. we can have a, we could we could have a good meetup in Austin, Texas, coming up soon. Yeah, hey. <laughs> if we could fit it in somewhere, but yeah, yeah, we get a big Airbnb and we can pack the house in the Airbnb, right, Carrie? Uh, possibly. I don't know. There's there's some strict rules around those things, uh, but I, I hope Airbnb's not listening. Right. Well, the problem <laughs> is, Jeff. A lot of these people, like me, when they host, they'll have like a a ring doorbell. So all yes, of a sudden, they yes. see a hundred people show up, but they're like, "Oh no, this is against the house rules." Yeah, but those people that we're going to have showing up are going to be like Dr. Shafee, Ken D. Berry, like all these guys, right? Right, right, yeah. <laughs> no, I think that's awesome. Hack, uh, hack Your Health, right? That's what it's called coming up May yep. thirty, May 31st to June 2nd. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, is it like how many people, like how many register like, registrants can, can, they, can it hold? Do you guys know? Like is it going to sell out soon or what? I'm sure. I'm not sure. Do you know, Adam? I have no idea. We're talking to Robin tomorrow. We can find out then. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys go last year? No. Nope. You guys never never been? Never been to one, no. Nope. Okay, awesome. Nope. Cool. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I'm going to try to arrange that I could come down. I think it will be awesome. Yeah. But we're even talking about, like, Carrie, like, the next time you and Adam come here, hopefully, JT, you can join in and come to Ontario uh like doing something here doing a, a a carnivore conference here like you know in niagara falls or or wherever i think i'm bringing building a big network of people here in ontario like even for that coffee that that coffee house that i do on mondays with those ladies like people are writing like they're an hour away and they really want to join in so so i bet you if we did something we could we could really uh blow it up here in ontario for sure yeah we got to knock on it's doors it. out by you in canada Yes, that's what I, JT, you have to come because we got to do that, right? Yeah, you it's know, your, we'll, absolutely. We'll, we'll it's JT's the, turn to knock. I got a pickup truck so we can load up some barbecues on the back of the pickup truck and we can go around and cook for people. Right? Yeah, What's I'd like to test my luck in Canada. Let's see. Let's go. Call that again? What do you guys call that again? Uh, uh, carnivore for strangers. strangers. Yeah. Carnivore for strangers. Canada edition. That's what we're going to call that one. Carnivore right? for strangers. Let's go. Carnivore Canada. for Canadians, Canada edition. Sorry, eh? Yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah. right. No, sorry, sorry. And the day after sorry. that, we're going to go shut down the McDonald's. We're going to order so many damn patties, man. Right. We're going to kick 100. us out. For sure. <laughs> At least. <laughs> the, the thing with the meetup, Jeff, though, I think you're right on. There's like a demand for it. If you would get it out there, I'm sure we probably could have had more people if we advertised mine longer. We offered 135 seats and all of them were taken. Although we did it kind of foolishly since it was free. So some people are like taking five seats or six seats. So we didn't fill all 135, but it was still a good crowd. And I bet you if we would have done it earlier and got the word out, we would have had more people because there's like a yearning. People want to do this. People want to go and, and hang out with other carnivores for sure. Yes, it seems like yes, a they, demand. Yes, they, yes, they do. And make some flyers. We're, we're going to be very kind too. If, and I, if any vegans or vegetarians want to come, they can come too, right? A hundred percent. That that was the cool thing with this one was it was about half carnivores. And then I don't know the exact percentage, but there were a lot of local people that they weren't even carnivore. There was a lady that was keto that did some advertising on her screen. She came up to me. I was like, oh, you're here. That's pretty cool. So there were people that were just genuinely interested that have heard about it or they're keto curious. They wanted to learn more, which I love that because we're always doing these live streams, preaching to the choir and there's some bring some new people in. Yeah. Hey, how many, including how many? my mother, she she started keto after um, the meetup. Nice. And she's already lost four pounds, so um, so awesome. something did good come out of it. You know, there's nothing I could say, but as soon as she saw Carrie in person, she's like, "Man, I'm doing this." So, you know, Carrie's just got that magic, man. When it comes to um, just getting people like over that last that last hurdle where they're just like you know what i'm doing it so shout out to carrie man well shout out to jt's mom melody because she is an angel i told you this before she is so sweet and nice she's she's been sending jen stuff emma stuff she sent tim at the movie theater stuff just putting smiles on people's faces she's such a sweet person that's where i get it from 
<laughs> hey, Carrie, hey, Carrie, you put out a video today. I haven't watched it yet. It had to do with Joe Rogan and somebody else, right? Uh, yeah. What yeah. Was it, that, what was that about? Give us a synopsis of that. Sure. It was Joe Rogan and uh, Kevin James, the comedian who was in King of Queens, who I love. Okay. Uh, he's really funny. He's struggling with his diet and he was telling Joe Rogan about it. And Joe Rogan's pretty cool. And Joe was like, well, you should probably do carnivore. And um, Kevin James was struggling and he's like, you know, I tried everything. And he said something like, yeah, my trainer says I'm okay with carbs. And he's like, I know what to do. But then on the flip side, he was like, I just gained 80 pounds back and I gained all the weight back and I've done it over and over and over again. And yeah, so anyways, wow. my, my point was Kevin James you're addicted to sugar and carbs and you lose the weight and you're struggling. You're going through all of this turmoil and then you bring back sugar and carbs and you gain all the weight back. That's what you're doing. You're addicted to sugar. And you're not doing it. And Joe okay. was trying to tell him, he's like, do carnivore. And he's just like, yeah, 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 yeah. He just, he wasn't like, he's like, yeah, that probably worked. But no, nah, I just, I got to do it my own way kind of thing. I'm like, all right. So. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. My biggest thing was. Oprah? The- yeah. No. What about Oprah? What about Oprah? So apparently she now is not a spokesperson for Weight Watchers anymore. And then I guess on Monday, I feel like I'm on The View or something right now. (laughs) 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 But apparently Monday, she's going to be talking about something to do with Ozempic. So I have no idea if she's on it or or what's going on. So that's interesting. Because wasn't Weight Watchers promoting weight loss commercials and she never looked like she lost any weight in every commercial. She's like, yeah, do what I did and how I got skinny. I was like, you haven't gotten it's not about getting skinny, but I never felt like she lost any weight. And here she was like, oh, just be like me. I'm like, well, when you lose some weight, I might think about it. Right. Yeah, man, that the whole thing with healing humanity is. It's not even like do carnivore, do this. It's just return to what is natural. And I don't know what is more unnatural than Ozempic. I've been going down that rabbit hole and that stuff is crazy. Paralyzes your stomach. Also, you can continue to eat junk food that you were never intended to eat. And that's supposed to be a good thing. And it's what one is of those it, things. A pill or something? Uh, it's an injection, I think. And you have to take it for the rest of oh. your life if you get prescribed it for type 2 diabetes. But a lot of people are taking it for weight loss. And uh, yeah, they just continue to eat junk food and then they're like well i could just eat less of it now so it's fine but it's one of those things where they're like it's fine just trust us just trust us i'm sure it's just fine we haven't really studied it that much and it paralyzes your stomach it's causing all sorts of depression (laughs) issues because a lot of that's rooted in your stomach so a lot of people are having mental health disorders and then when they get off of it which they're not supposed to because it's a lifelong thing uh they gain all the weight back and then they have these long lasting issues but the the people that make it of course are just like it's just it's just fine don't worry about it you're going to be fine kind of thing it's so unnatural it's crazy horrible everybody wants to take the easy route when the easy route really is just the proper human diet and you don't have yeah. to worry about all this other nonsense and pills and shots and stuff i wish her the best of luck man but she she needs her and uh kevin james they need better people around them with some better information yeah. Hey, speaking of Ozempic, uh, Embracing Hope, this is my friend I did a video with. It can be in both uh, form pills and injection. She has a crazy story we did on my channel uh, about that. She has a whole support group for uh, Ozempic and side effects and stuff like that. It's oh, just, wow. it's absolutely insane. It's The crazy thing is, too, is it's set to be one of the most profitable drugs of all time. They're prescribing mm. it like crazy to people. And it's a lifelong thing. So you got to imagine the life value. If I prescribe this to Jeff, oh, he's going to take it for the rest of his life. How much money is that for me? There's so much money in it. And they're giving it to younger and younger people. It's just, it's absolutely nuts. It's so well, you watch these thing. commercials and they're like, oh, the side effects, you might experience bleeding from the eye, uh, yeah. sleeplessness, <laughs> uh, exploding gut, uh, death and uh, depression. But otherwise you, you should be good. Right. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Like, I, if those were side effects of carnivore, I'd, I'd say don't do it. But the proper human diet, man, you don't have to list those types of wild side effects. You you know, like uh, you, you might get some dragon breath, but uh, I'll take that over the bleeding eyes and stuff. Jeez. Right. I've always wondered why they put those disclaimers in there. It's, people say it's because of litigation and things like that. But it's like, come on, really? It doesn't seem like it's for that. It seems like it's something else like. How stupid can these people be? You know, we're going to advertise that literally this is going to cause anal bleeding and all kinds of other crazy and, and stuff. And they still sign Let's up for it. Let's see if they go request about it, anal you know? bleeding. Right. Right. Yeah. Who, who's going to be the idiot that wants this stuff? I know the world is so, it's so reversed right now. So that's why we have to get healing humanity out there 
you know, and guys, donate, donate, donate. We are nowhere near the funds we need. So let's get this made. This is so important, man. This what what America does, it 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 leads it leads to all these other places like Canada and Australia. You know, like now the Australian uh, standard Australian diets, like the standard American diet. Like we we have to be better leaders out here. So we have to get this movie made. Have to. Yeah, hundred percent. And like uh, Jeff was saying earlier, this next generation of kids, it's going to take a while. Like these kids are eating all this garbage and and horrible food and toxins and all this stuff. It's not going to happen instantly, but I th I think it's going to be eye-opening in a couple of years, the amount of sickness and disease we're seeing and depression and mental health issues, because it's just getting worse and worse and further away from natural. And even now, like just fruits and vegetables, they're, they're just full of pesticides, herbicides, glyphosate, forever chemicals. It's just crazy. Mm -hmm. It's just getting worse and worse. And Cranky Carnivore says uh, they'll give you different pills for the side effects. Yeah. Like, when, when does it yeah. end? You know, like you should just get on the proper human diet and do it the right way. I agree. How many? Hey, how many people are viewing right now? I can't see. Two hundred two. That's great. Let's go. We, we should have two hundred two likes on every video, man. That's for sure. Right. Question: Where are Carrie and Adam filming next for the documentary? Well, for sure, KetoCon Austin is a huge one. We're filming like. I, we're going to have to get so much extra memory cards and that's going to be crazy. But in the meantime, Adam and I need to talk about that a little bit more because I got a couple ideas on that. Mm -hmm. I wish KetoCon was earlier. I'm so excited to go out there and start shooting for that. But Yeah, I agree. Yeah, we, we have uh, mechanisms in place now to try to get things scheduled in terms of, you know, who we're going to shoot and when. So uh, we're still trying to iron, we're kind of ironing those things out with uh, some of our volunteers and uh, yeah, we should be able to move forward with that soon. Yeah. Are you, are you guys, I think you were talking about it earlier. You're going to see Bill not again soon, right? Yeah. Well, after he hits one year, that's the summer. Year. So it's crazy because we're going to do all this filming at KetoCon and it's shortly after that. Um, yeah. But I'm being very careful. I don't know if Bill's in the chat. There's no pressure for Bill. I'm like, if it takes two extra months or whatever, it doesn't have to be one year. But he keeps sure. telling me, he's like, I want one year. Like, I feel like that's going to be the perfect timing. So it's going to be around yes. the end of summerish for that right, right after KetoCon. That's going to be crazy, Jeff. I can't even imagine. Because when Emma and I left there, due to 700 pounds, he could barely, he could, he couldn't even stand up hardly. And now he's scooting around. And he's just. He's like just he's, absolutely thriving he's down, right now. He's down under 500 now. Yeah. Under, right? Yeah. So yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, he's well under. Yeah, well yeah. under. And the depression, anxiety has gone, and his mood's just drastically improved. He's got a mountain bike. He just bought a new drone. He's like, I can't wait to get out and start. My next chapter on YouTube is going to be adventure in Alaska with my bike and my drone and my GoPro. It's just going to be – I, like, get emotional just thinking about when I got to open that door and go back in there and see him again, and he's just a completely different person. It's just going to be That's crazy. Gonna be amazing, me, amazing. He's probably going to jump out at right and scare your ass because right? now he can move around. So what a difference, <laughs> you know? He jumps out, gives me a heart attack. I just die right there. <laughs> it's the end of the day. No, no carnivore sure. doesn't cause heart attack, man. Right, right, right. right. That's right. Uh, Raquel, how's your dad doing, Carrie? Oh, thank you. Um, He's doing okay. Uh, my dad was diagnosed with cancer uh, a couple weeks back and they're trying to get to the bottom of it. He was just in the hospital for like five days. And he, I don't know, Jeff, this is one of the hard things with family members and loved ones. Uh, he's, he's just like, Oh, it's not that bad. It's, it's, it's something else. So I don't know if he's downplaying things or what. I was just talking to uh, Emma, actually. She's like, we should just go down to Florida and visit and check in on him and make sure he's telling us the truth. But He's uh, the last time I talked to him, he said he's doing better and he got out of the hospital. He's in the hospital for five days. So he's back home now. So thank you for your nice comment, though. I appreciate that. Prayers for your dad, buddy. I'll, I'll keep him in my prayers tonight. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, and hey, Jeff, uh, JT, yes. Adam, I sent him the best resource for cancer and nutrition, the Dr. Hampton uh, masterclass that he put together. I know you commented about that last week when I had Dr. Hampton on the big screen, I reminded him, I said, you know what, Dr. Hampton, that was really one of the best uh, resources I think I've ever seen. Like he did such a good job on that. I was like, shout out to professor Seafried, but uh, Dr. Hampton's is way easier for me you to have, understand. Do you have that PowerPoint that he did with us on the Healing Humanity website is it yes there? on the top of it. Yep, okay, we're gonna good. 
We're going to update and add your regimen. I know you sent that to me earlier. I sent you a text yeah. back. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I was. I, it's looking great. The because I know you had a different website, like the Carnivore Diet Movie. So, but now this is set. This is like the official one, Healing Humanity Dot Movie or whatever, right? Yes. And, and it's looking good. It's looking really good. Like I love how you the drop down menu and you can search like what diseases and you know you got it all separated to like obesity, diabetes, cancer, whatever, right? Hundred percent. Uh, Shout out good. Adam. Shout out Adam and uh, Limitless Lindy. We got on the team. Been working on the website and just take it to a next level. I had nothing to do with any of that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Right up there. Adam, Adam. Yeah, it's looking. It's looking great. No, it is looking really good. Yeah, and I know like my people always ask me, and I'm like, you know, that's a good, like, it's a good resource that I can even send to people when they're coming to me because I'm getting subscribers every single day that you know um that say hey i have cancer i need to ask you questions and i'm doing calls i'm doing facetime i'm doing facetime messenger today i actually did a really good call um with uh a subscriber as i was it was just it was just a voice call i was driving to my out of town and um i got a message from and this is kind of good because young people are tuning in to what we're doing i got a message from a former student of mine a former high school student he's in his 20s now he's like in his he's about 22 23 but he said you know mr prosperous i don't know if you remember me and i absolutely remember who he was and he said my mom's going through exactly what you're going through colon cancer she's got the same chemo regimen she leaves with a bottle um he had a whole bunch of questions he wanted to ask me because you know he cares so much about his mom and he's been sending his mom my videos right so i had a great conversation with his mother today um, you know, and I talked a little bit about the carnivore diet and, and she understands, she understands how carnivore is the ultimate for lowering glucose, right? It, it, it's the ultimate to get your glucose down low. Um, mm -hmm. so, you know, I, you know, and I talked about professor Seaford with her and stuff like that, but you know, even that humanity, healing humanity website, the cancer action plan that Carrie's got going, I think it's wonderful. We're going to update my regimen because my regimen's got, I'm about 16 deep now. And my, my video today, I don't know if you guys saw it, you probably didn't, but I did a walk and talk today. And it was, it was about mind over body for people that have cancer. Mm -hmm. And I started talking about some of the regimens I added in, like Reiki healing and um, Wim Hof breathing and cold plunge and even uh, meditation with the rosary. Um, all these things, you know, are good for our mind. And I, you know, I, I mentioned all three of you actually during my walkabout, even you, JT, I mentioned you because I talked about how when I go into the sauna after doing Wim Hof breathing, my, my Wim Hof instructor has me listening to Bob Proctor and Bob Proctor, <laughs> he's all, he's, he's all about pa pa paradigm shifts, right? And you train your mind, you can train your mind to heal your cells, right? At a cellular level, right? So that it's very, very important for cancer patients to understand that, right? So I just did a little walk and talk about that. And then when you add in the carnivore diet and you add in fasting and you add in all these things, and I hope, you know, maybe your dad's listening to this, Carrie, these, all these things that we can eat can help out with the whole like journey and process of kicking the crap out of cancer. Right. Right. Oh yeah. That's why I love your new mantra, Jeff. You have to drill that yes. down too. When you talk to the people, like don't own that cancer. They don't, you don't want to own that. You, no, you want to no, just, no. Let you want to no. let it die from lack of nutrients and just own the new. I'm on that journey to be cancer free. That's right. And you know what? I, I had a few people say because I was humming and hawing about changing my mantra care when we did that call with the Japanese girl because she, she kind of is on a different mantra where she's OK with living with it. I'm not OK with living with it. I, I, and I think Carrie and you guys all agree with me. And I had a whole bunch of subscribers say, no, Jeff. You need to, and, and my it's, I think it was my Reiki my Reiki uh, master. She said, "No, your mantra is perfect." She said to me, "You are on a journey to being cancer free." And I and I agree. And the more I listen to people like Bob Proctor talk about it's it's a paradigm shift, and you and you got to train your mind to believe a certain thing, and then your body will follow, right? So I, I'm totally on board with that. Thank you, JT and, and Adam. I know you sent me a message today about someone close in your life. I definitely want to connect with that person too. Because I, you know, and, and just share my experience. Like, like the one thing I, I was talking to my carnivore group of coffee at my coffee house, especially that guy, Kyler today, uh, that Kyler on Monday, that guy, he had his daughter, Mia. Kyler went from 278 pounds. He, by the way, Carrie, 265 days carnivore. He's got a tracker on his phone, this Kyler guy. If you go to my community and you check out the last photo I did, he's in there with the two women and, and me and his daughters there. 
two, uh, 265 days carnivore. He's he was 278 pounds. He's down to 175 pounds. Wow, like, that's over 100 pounds in 265 days. He showed me a before photo and after photo. Unbelievable. Okay, like, and I said you need to come on a on a call with us, us guys, and talk about it, and we can share your success. But he's very shy and he's very humble and he's very modest and he's and he's like, but he actually like he looks like Shafee. Like, like he showed me a photo of him. There it is right there. Kyler, shout out to you if you're watching. And there's his daughter, Mia. And that's my friend um, on behind Mia there. Her name's Janice and Denise. Shout out to all those people if they're watching. Um, Kyler, like, there he is. He, he showed me, he, like, he was overweight. And, like, no tone, no muscle definition, a big belly. He showed it. And then he showed me his recent photo, and he looks like Shafee. Like he's got like an not a six pack, he's got like an eight pack, ten pack, and he's re, he's really ripped. <laughs> wow! So like it's unbelievable. So this is what I'm getting to, and I I sorry guys, my stories and my my points end up being stories and this and that. But we need to keep showing all the success we're having because you know what, you know we, and because we're not in your face about it like the way some vegans are and some vegetarians are. So we just got to keep showing the success, right? Getting out there. Like, like just showing people, showing ourselves, exercising, doing that, doing that. Have like, I think I have stage four cancer. I'm terminally ill. I'm incurable. Like I'm supposed to be lying at home, sick, pale, bald, not doing anything. Right. That's what so, they told you though, Jeff. That's what they told you. That's right. But, the, but then if, when people ask the, on my 16 thing regimen diet is up there in the top three. The carnivore diet is in the top three and then exercise and fasting, right? Those are the top three. So that's what I say. We got to keep showing it. And all these people are going to catch on. All these people that, you know, they're getting sick. They're getting type 2 diabetes. They're becoming obese. They're becoming obese in their 30s and they can't play with their little kids. Right, JT? You know, you, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That's what you didn't want. To that was me, man. Yeah, right? Like, like, it, like it, it was starting to, man. Absolutely. We got to keep showing it. Because it's all about the kids. It's all about the kids and the future generation. Uh, we got we got to fix what's going on going on wrong right now, right? Yeah. Where, where, where sugar and carbs is in every single meal, and it's in snacks, and it's and it's and it's in you know you go for a ride with your family uh, to an amusement park, and you're eating sugar while you're going there, and then you get to the amusement park, and you're buying your kids sugar, and you're buying your kids slushies, and this and that, and oh, it's it, it's a family outing. But those family outings happen once a week, twice a week, three times a week. Like it's, right. it's, 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 a, it's a really horrible place that this world is becoming because of – and bottom of line is it's because of money. It's because of money, yeah. right, and making money and stuff like that. So, guys, we're doing an awesome job. Sorry I went on a big rant there. I go on rants once in a while. No, <laughs> rants are great. I totally yeah. agree. I, I've replaced sugar with cocaine. So it's like, oh, there's just a little cocaine in it. Oh, that's okay. Just a little cocaine yes. in the snake. <laughs> How is it any different? It's a highly addictive drug. We've normalized it. If it was cocaine the whole time, it, everyone would just be like, oh, it's fine. There's cocaine in the cereal and everywhere else. Mm -hmm. I, Jeff, you're going to be proud of me. This is well, what like we're Chafee doing tomorrow. Was natural... Right. Chafee was saying they say, well, it's natural sugar because it's in a fruit. That, that's just a marketing ploy, man. None of that stuff is natural. So, I, man, we've we've modified all these fruits and everything's to be like little sugar packed um, pieces of, of of junk. You know what I'm saying? So, and and arsenic is natural too. What we yeah. and and like Chafee said, we don't need to worry about oh, is this natural? Is that natural? What we need to worry about is what's natural to us and what's natural to the, to the human easy. being, both right. both big adults and small little human beings is eating meat. That's what's natural to the human being. It's eating meat. Yes. Right. Okay. Where am I going to be proud of tomorrow? Oh, uh, Emma and the girls and I, we've been going for walks every morning, except for nice. this morning because they were gone. But I have my little wall tech platform. You guys have seen it before where I did the pull-ups and stuff on. Yes, we're yes. turning that into an outdoor gym. With We're going to have resistance bands. We're going to have nice. kettlebells. We're going to have everything. Emma's pumped about it. Katie's pumped. So we're, we're going to be doing that tomorrow. And it's going to so be a... When I show up this summer, you and I can use this outdoor workout area, right? Yes. Yeah. And JT's been there. He did a pull-up on the thing, right? Yep. It's the da yep. It's a dangerous pull-up bar. It's not really made for that, but we, we can give it a try. You got to ride the zip line too, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's a full experience. That's, that's fine. That's awesome.
Oh, awesome question. Speaking of working out, uh, when are you interviewing Dr. Sean Baker? Well, we're interviewing him in KetoCon uh, yep. in Austin. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, and he's he's been on the – I've done three videos with him now, so there's a couple on the channel. I just remembered that because uh, I'm coming up on One Year Carnivore, like I mentioned, uh, Jeff, Adam, JT, and I'm putting together like a compilation, and it's been so much fun, Jeff, your clips. I just had the clip of the first time I ever heard Jeff DeProsper speak. And then it jumps to the Dr. Chafee clip on the 24 hour live stream. And then it jumps to me. It's just a quick little highlight from each like cool part of it. Cool. And then it jumps to me and you in the cold plunge. Nice. Uh, so it's How pretty... did you guys link up again? 24 hour live stream. Jeff sent me an uh, email before he's wanted to share a story. I told that story today to that woman I was talking to that has cancer. And uh, I said, you know, care JT, basically what happened is I did a year of chemo. Took a two, I took a two and a half month break. Um, my dad died at the end of my break. Uh, I buried my father on January on September the 14th. On September the 15th, I started chemo again. Okay, and because I was going through so much with you know my dad getting sick and him passing away, um, and you know all summer I've been watching all these move, all these videos on YouTube, and Carrie started coming in my feed uh, quite often, and. I knew this 24 hour live event was coming up and people have been telling me that I need to share my story, write a book, do whatever I'm doing. Right. So basically what I did is I came home from chemo. Like I buried my father on the 14th, on the 15th, I started chemo again. I went to the natural path, long, long day. And I was pretty beat up. And I was like, I was so tired. I was actually lying in my bed when I made that video. And I said to Peter, get the camera. We got to make this video for this Carrie man guy having this 24 hour live event. Right. And I didn't read the fine print in Carrie's instructions. It was only supposed to be a 30 second video that he was like, accepting. It was four but hours my, long. Four hours no, long. No, no, no. no it, was nine, it was nine minutes. Nine <laughs> minutes, right? And Carrie replied to me and he, he really liked it. And he asked my permission to show it. And then he showed it. And when I was watching the 24 hour live event, he showed it when Anthony Shape and Aunt, Dr. Anthony Shape of all the doctors. And I'm sorry. Listen, I love Hampton, I love Barry. I, I even like Saladino a little bit. Okay, kilts I love. Like, I love all these doctors, but Dr. Shafee is my ultimate. He's my superhero. He's, you know what I mean? He's the one I really um, can relate to and admire and, and look up to. So when he showed my video and then Shafee commented to me, he was talking to me and I wasn't, like, I wasn't on, but my video was there. I was like, I was in tears because mm -hmm. that was my, that was Carrie introducing me to the YouTube world on his 24 hour live event and we haven't looked back and we're going full swing now. And thank you, Carrie, because, you know, we're helping so many people now, uh, you know, that especially cancer people, we're yeah. helping so many of them because of that. Right. So it's, it's, it's you. your story, Jeff, for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Just one last thing. So JT, we showed the eight minute video and then when Chafee came on, I said to Chafee, this was the coolest thing. I said, Chafee, you don't know this, but uh, you are this man's doctor. And you're his yeah. favorite doctor. And he was he, Chafee. Like he's like, oh, whoa! Like that that hit him a little bit. And then I showed him the clip with Jeff. And yeah, yeah. yeah the rest. And they've been doing uh, he, Chafee and Jeff been doing videos together ever since. Yes. So like, I'm telling you, man, I, if that doesn't inspire people that it's a beautiful world, man, I don't yes. know what does, man. And like, and the time Chafee makes for me, like you said, JT, I've done four videos. If you include the 24 hour live stream where he talked to me, that's five like with him and he still wants to do more the guy you included the, the kids stream we did i included that that's in that's in the four 100 percent. and um like the guy does brain surgery all day long and then he <laughs> and then he hops on youtube calls and stuff like this guy is an endless amount of time that he's putting into helping others and you know what getting back to that sean baker question carrie i just if there's people on here that are new to our channels and don't really and they're learning about carnivore Shout out to Sean Baker. I, I, that was actually my first call I ever did after the live stream. He was the first one that said yes to me. And I did a video with him and he was very professional and he knew his stats about cancer and everything. But Dr. Sean Baker, he is the one that invented the title carnivore diet, right guys? Yeah. Yep. Right? He, wrote, he wrote the book carnivore wrote the book. diet, carnivore diet. So anybody that's listening tonight and, and stuff, I, you know, a huge shout out to Sean Baker and it's going to be awesome. Carrie, if you could film on that keto con, because he created the name like, and, 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 and that guy, and that guy's a stud too. He's in his fifties and he is killing it. Like doing like world records on squats and deadlifts and stuff like that. He's really destroying it. I, lo I love watching his clips all the time.
Yeah, hundred percent. Hey, I know we're getting at the end of the hour here. We got a quick question from uh, our sure. good buddy, Carnivore Cure Todd. Question for Jeff. Yes. I found out today that a good friend of mine has cancer and he's been receiving chemotherapy for seven months. I told him about you and about carnivores. He's interested. Any advice on where he should start? Okay. Um, thank you, Carnivore Cure. Uh, what's his name? Do you know him? Todd. Todd, Todd Bachness. Oh, Todd Bachness. This is the Todd Bachness. Yeah, I hear He's in the guys. 700 Club with Limitless Lindy. That's awesome. Todd, um, tell your friend, first of all, if they if you send him some videos of me and they want to do a call, a FaceTime or whatever, I'm willing to do that with them for sure. But the main thing I would say um, that's going to help, especially with the chemotherapy, you know, uh, is the fasting. Okay, so I'm not sure how often your, 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 your friend gets chemotherapy, but, you know, I learned from... My naturopath hooked me up with uh, another cancer patient that, that she she's in remission and, and Carrie and Adam met her, Ronnie Campbell. She taught me the three day fast around chemo. So if chemo is on the middle day, you fast the day before, the day of and the day after. And I've, I've built a five day fast. That's my routine now, just because I know the benefits of autophagy and mitophagy. And, and I'm just doing really well with uh, with fasting. Fasting is huge. It's going to help him with his symptoms that he gets from chemo. Now, the tough thing is, some people say, how the heck do you do a three-day fast, four-day fast, five-day fast? Some people can't even last a day. And we know those types of people, guys. Those are carb-dependent people, right? Carb-dependent. So you have to change your diet. Try to go low-carb if you can't go carnivore. If you can go carnivore, that's the ultimate because then you're in the state of ketosis. Or, or sure, your body's using ketones when you're eating. You get in a state of ketosis when you're fasting. And you can no problem do three days in the state of ketosis, right? So mm -hmm. that's my biggest tip to Todd. Um, hopefully tell your friend that. Send him some videos if he wants to do a call. I'm game. And the okay. cancer action plan that Carrie and Jeff put together. That is – and how many signatures are we up to, fellas? We've surpassed 5,000. I think there's like 5,400 or nice. something. Let's so many go. Good, good comments. And people are leaving videos on there too. So there's a link in the description for that. If anyone's watching from my channel, there's also a link to Jeff, Adam, and JT's channel in my description. So go watch those. And also Adam gifted five Carnivore Today memberships. So make sure to check those out as well. Hold on a second. I, I'm, I'm learning the YouTube world. Adam, that's super awesome. I'm pointing to you over here. But what does that mean? <laughs> what, what does that mean when you gift when you gift? YouTube memberships. What that so mean? as a YouTube creator, YouTube will allow you to gift 10 memberships to your channel a month, uh, but you have to do it five at a time and you don't get to pick who is the recipient of the, um, the membership. So whenever so I'm live, through. I try to, you know, at least give out as many as I can because I'm doing members lives and things like that and members so only it, posts and early access to videos and things like that. So it it gives them an opportunity to check it out and see, you know, what they like and what they don't like if yeah. they want to subscribe or not. But is it so it ran? Oh, it's not to your subscribers. It could be to anybody. Anybody in the chat. Yep. Anybody in the chat. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yep. So you got to be in the chat and you might get lucky. Right. <laughs> so like tonight, so tonight, like JT, me and Carrie, we could have did the same thing. We could have yeah. donated. Gotcha. Yep. And other people on, on, uh, can, can do, uh, buy, um, memberships as well. It doesn't have to just be the channel owner. So any, gotcha. if someone wants to buy 50 memberships for people, they can do that. Yep. That's cool. 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 Yeah. But if I, I got to start, like it, I have to add more repertoire to my channel if I'm going to be giving out memberships, right? <laughs> you got to do like some members only it. content, give them some exclusive right. stuff, something yes, to exactly. something for their 2.99 a month, you know? Yeah. Gotcha. Some people just open it up just as a way to for people to easily support your channel. Um even if you don't really do anything on the membership side, it's just a way to just, you know, show support. So well, that's that's exactly what I was doing the first year of my journey, especially Dwight taught me this too, to be a, what do they call it? A patronage to someone. Uh, pay, like, like I was paying into Kendi Berries, I think Shafee's, I think Baker's, whatever it was, five bucks a month, mainly because these are the guys that are helping out people that are sick, that have cancer. So when people mm -hmm. ask, when people ask me, Hey Jeff, will you donate to cancer research? I say no right away. And I'm, I'm sorry, people that, you know, believe that, you know what, my mom was healed of cancer and maybe it was the research. Okay. But she, my mom had a genetic cancer. 
okay, which is very, very small, 5%, 10%. The rest of the people that have cancer, that's not where the research money is going, like the other 90, 95%. So that's why I like to give money to guys like Kendi Berry and, and, and Dr. Shafee and stuff like that, that are doing, doing or, or Professor Seifert's the best one. If we can send stuff to Professor Seifert, you know what, for especially for cancer, he's the best one to send, send those extra dollars to, if everybody's listening. I feel like the more they've researched cancer, the more cancer uh, centers are open and, and it just the more they're multiplying the cancer is, uh, I mean, I, I know they have good intentions, but it's like the more you focus on, on cancer, the more you're going to build it. You got to focus on uh, the opposite of cancer, the health, you know, like that's why I agree with you, Dr. Chafee and them. They're going to be the people who are getting people like, like you to, to beat their cancer and to defy all the odds because they're not focused on the cancer. They're focused on the, 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 the opposite, which is your health. And, and what well, to do. It's, a, it's the same thing with insurance companies. Like I'm a school teacher, right? So I get benefits, right? My benefits are, you know what, when I got to get medicine from the pharmacy, I don't have to pay for it because my, 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 my school board or my benefits pay for it. But guess what? Why don't they pay for my gym membership? Right. Yeah, like like that will prevent right. me from getting sick if they pay for my gym membership a year, right? Or, or 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 all these other health things that you can do, right? They're willing to pay for the medicines all the time, of right? course, which of is course. which is kind of which is disappointing. Carrie, what's going on? Uh, I'm reading through the chats here. How are we doing on time, guys? I don't. I know last time we wrapped it up around eight. I think I'm yeah. Good. I think we're I think we're good to go. I think we I think we're just over the hour, and you know what? Um, we want people to keep tuning in weekly, right? If we go too long every time, they're not going to tune in. Yeah, I agree. One, We'll take one last question and then wrap it up. Is there a list anywhere of all the resources for folks with cancer? I know someone with colon cancer who isn't listening yet. Yes, the cancer action plan we mentioned, there's a link in the description below. That has Professor Seafried's uh, work. It has uh, Dr. Tony Hampton's. It has Jeff's regimen that we're going to update. Uh, everything you need. There's a link to a whole bunch of videos from Cancer Thrivers. Uh, it is at healinghumanity.movie forward slash cancer or in the link in the description. Awesome. Hey, one more thing before we get going, guys. Next week, we might have to do a time change and start a little earlier if you're okay with that. Like I like maybe a couple hours earlier. I think it's, you guys start at 7 p.m. Like if we could start at 5 or 6. Actually, we could, I could do 6 o'clock actually because I I, I, I'm actually going to be in a special place next week. And I'm going to share it with all the YouTube world. I'm right live with you guys. Okay. Yeah, that works for me. I'll, Let's we, go. I'm down. So, so next week, you guys got it. 6 p.m. Central time. Let's go. Let's go an hour earlier. 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, and I'll I'll share with what I'm doing next week with you guys. Okay. Sounds Very great. Good. This has been fun, guys. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Beep. 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 Beep.